Good day, good day everyone. And once again, we're back together. We're looking at number patterns this time around. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family. And of course, you can get in touch with us for all our value added services. Our email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za. All right, so let's look at some number patterns. Okay, this is from the 2018 exam uh, for grade 11s. All right, so we're given there a linear pattern that's 7, 2, and negative 3, right? So they say determine the n, uh, sorry, the general term Tn uh, for the linear pattern. Now, please remember, grade 11s, that when we're looking at the uh, linear pattern, in this case, we look at in um, the general formula is a n minus 1 multiplied by d. Now, remember, what a uh, represents is the first term, right? And of course, that D is the common difference. So we need to make sure, uh, sorry, the common difference, okay? So we need to make sure that we do, in fact, have a common difference. And how do we get that? The common difference will simply be the difference between two terms. So if I take T2 minus T1, uh, term 2 minus term 1, or in this case, uh, it needs to be the same if I take term 3, uh, minus term 2 or for whatever nth term uh, in this case so tn minus tn minus 1 so whatever term is one below the other so in this case what is our what are our terms we've got 7 2 and negative 3 so let's take term 2 which is 2 minus in this case um, term 1 which is positive 7 and we get negative 5, okay? But, I mean, let's have a, a look at it. We also have term 3 and term 2, so let's verify if we do get the same answer. So our term 3 is uh, negative 3, right? And term 2 is 2, positive 2. So it's negative 3 minus a positive 2, and you also get negative 5. So clearly we've got a common difference there. So it does tell us that definitely it is a linear pattern, okay? Now let's answer the question that we were asked. Uh, they say determine the general term Tn for the linear pattern. Now, in this case, um, we're going to say, right, so Tn is a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, right? Our a value, right, uh, if you remember, we said that's 7, okay, that's our first term, right? And in this case, we've got n minus 1. But what is our d value? Our d value we just found out is negative 5. So that's going to be multiplied by negative 5. So we're going to multiply that into the bracket. So we're going to simply say that 7, uh, so negative 5 multiplied by n, okay, uh, let me just change the color to that so that you see what I'm talking about. So 7, uh, negative 5 times n, that's going to give us negative 5n, right? So that's minus 5n, okay? And negative 5 multiplied by negative 1, that gives us positive 5, okay? So in this case, that's those are two like terms. So that's 12, 7 plus 5 is 12, minus 5n. So this is the general term of the sequence, okay? Right, let's go to our next question. They say calculate the value of t20. So that's 3.1.2, 3.1.2. So t20, very simple. We now have the nth term or the general term, so this is going to be 12 minus 5 multiplied by 20, right? So that's 12 minus 5 times 20, that gives us 100. So it means that T20 will be negative 88. Okay, uh, there we go, that's our T20, okay? Right, so 3.1.3, .3. quickly, right, let's go for it. They say which term 
in the pattern has a value of negative 138, right? So um, Tn, we know that's 12 minus 5 times n is equal to negative 138. So we want to find the value of n in this case, right? So that's 12 minus 5 n is equal to negative 138. So let's try and deal with that. So in this case, we take that to the other side. We've got negative 5 n is equal to negative 150 because negative 138 minus 12 will give us negative 150. We can divide both sides by negative 5. Okay, so n will give us so 150 divided by negative 5 will give us 30 in this case. So it means that uh, the 30th term is actually negative 138. All right, so let's go for the last question. So they give us the pattern there. Uh, we've got 6, 2x plus 1, and 3x minus 3. So that's 6. That's 2x plus 1. That's 3x minus 3. Okay, so um, actually that's number 3.2, right? Now they say to us, these are the first three terms of the linear pattern, right? They say calculate the value of x, right? Now please, we need to keep this in mind, right? So that's our 3.2. So this is our term 1, this is our term 2, and this is our term 3. So what do we know? We know that the common difference is made up of term 1 minus term 2, right? So in this case, if we take term 1, that's 2x plus 1 minus term 2, uh, rather term 2 minus term 1, sorry about that. Term 1 is 6, positive 6. So therefore, we've got 2x minus, uh, plus 1 minus 6, and that will be 2x minus 5, right? So that's our common difference D, right? Let's call that equation 1. But we also know that D can also be found by taking the third term minus the second term, right? So that will be 3x minus 3 minus what is our term 2? Now, please remember, put this in brackets so that you don't make that mistake, right? Um, so that's 3x minus 3 minus 2x plus 1. So in this case, what do we have? We've got 3x minus 3 minus 2x minus 1. Remember that the negative multiplies into the bracket, right? So in this case, what do we have? We've got 3x. There's our like terms. 3x minus 2x will give me x, right? Negative 3 minus 1 will give us negative 4. So that also becomes an expression for d, right? Now look at this. You've got two expressions for the same thing, which is d. So what does that mean? It means that equation 1 is therefore equal to equation 2. So it means the right-hand sides are equal, right? So therefore, it means 2x minus 5 will be equal to x minus 4. So let's try and deal with that. So I'm going to bring this to the other side. I'm going to take this to the other side. So 2x, remember when it goes to the other side, it changes sign. 2x minus x will give me x, right? When I take the negative 5 to the other side, it changes sign. It becomes positive 5. So we've got positive 5 minus 4 which gives us 1, okay? So it means that the value of x is actually equal to 1. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. So remember, when we're dealing with the linear pattern, all we simply do is that we know that term 2 minus term 1 is equal to uh, term 3 minus term 2. In fact, if you want to, you could actually just do that in one um, step. So term 2 minus term 1, is equal to term 2 minus, well, term 3 minus term 2, rather, is equal to term 2 minus term 1, and still solve the same way. You should be able to get to the same answer, right? Okay, so I will leave it there for now. Of course, we're going to be, uh, um, you know, looking at the next question. 
okay uh, in another video that is to follow otherwise from me for now i'll see you guys next time and please don't forget to like and subscribe and tell as many of your friends that your favorite uncle is doing the most otherwise i'll see you next time shop shop